Today I just received my first ever Elgato's Game Capture Card HD60S. So this will be my first review on this product because uh, I've been doing some research and um, for some reason it's not working on the MacBook Pro because uh, updates aren't out but uh, they said they are so let's get to it. Um, this is the Game Capture box. It's standard. Um, the inside of the box, this is where the HD60S would be in. It's small. It comes with a 3.0 USB wire, which you will adapt to the end part right here. And then it also comes with a free HDMI wire. So, what I did was I've been looking on YouTube and I've been the only one so far that's really been looking into it, I'm guessing. But, so, I will show you how to set it up. It's a, it's quite easy, nothing too hard. So, how you would set it up is you would get your HD60S and how I would do it is I would get the 3.0 wire and I would plug that part in first. So, I will have that plugged in. And I also will take the HDMI wire that they gave with the HD60S box. I would put it in the end part. So right afterwards, once I plug that in, I will get to the back of my Xbox. I already had it installed or I already had done it today. So if you have your regular HDMI wire into your TV out, you will also have to move that. So what I did, I had moved it. Now I'm installing this from the HDMI out to TV to the HDMI in. So what you do with the out part, you, I have a HDMI wire ran up. HDMI 2 of this TV and this will go into the out part of the HD 60 capture card so What you will do is you will get that wire and You will plug it in here So that brings that there so what you want to do now is that I have everything set up Sorry about the mess, but I have everything set up so far and this is kind of, this where it comes. I wouldn't say like the hard part, but more of the irritating part. Because when I reviewed this product, I thought, you know, it was going to work exceptionally. But it didn't start. So, the, this is part of the 3.0 port. So, this is the USB port. You want to put it into the USB. So, right now, my Xbox should, uh, my TV should change. So... This is my this is my 2K, this is my TV, so it's everything is plugged correctly just to show you. So we'll get into how to bring it up onto the um the Mac and how to use it on a Mac. So I mean so when we go here, I'll type in Elgato. And what I'm really actually let's let's go to Google. And uh I've been researching on how to use it on a Mac and why doesn't it work when uh, you use it. So let's go here, 60S, download. So right now, at first, this product didn't support the Mac OS X, but now they do. So this is the tricky part. So what what I did was this version is supposed to be like the new version but for some reason this version does not work this does not work but this version here works so I already have them downloaded so if you're watching this video don't download this version until you know another update comes out and you know someone else tests it out but what I did, I already have it downloaded. So I downloaded this downloaded 
version 2.1 with stream command hd60s support so when i downloaded that i will go here i'll go to my oh but also before that make sure your mac is also up to date because i just recently updated it and i needed the 10.11.6 i had 10.9 so make sure that's also updated so we'll go and see the applications and then right here i have i have two the this is the 2.0 this is the first one that i told you not to get so when you click here it'll be it'll just do this uh i'm trying to have it focus but for some reason it's not focusing so you have game capture hd so now just saying connect your capture device to get started so that one was the 2.0.3 that was supposed to be the newest one but to go figure it doesn't work so what you want to do is exit out of this one and you can delete it you can um you know do whatever you want with it but this is the game capture hd2 that's the um 2.1 you could just say the beta version but uh so you click on that and uh, it should this this works. I know it said uh, you need at least a fourth generation quad core Intel Core i5 CPU. So one moment, please. And now you can see uh, your Elgato's game capture card. And uh, don't worry about the 720. You can always change that. I was just messing around with the settings, but it is zero latency. So when I when I was researching about this, uh, there was no lag in it at all so i was i was really happy and surprised that's the reason why i got this product so this is a uh, me controlling my game so whatever i'm doing here there's no lag whatsoever and i wish i could show you better but this is i'm moving how i would move on my regular tv so um so far this product does make me happy and i, I couldn't mess around with it because it'd be my first time but um it's pretty cool i'm uh i'm excited to to start recording some gameplay it'll be my first this is my first channel so i hope you like and comment and subscribe to this video